Hi, today's subject has been chosen by you guys on my Facebook page. So the subject voted for by the majority is premature ejaculation. I wish I could say I was surprised. You fucking losers. Nah, seriously. It's a problem that many of us has to face at least at the beginning of our sex lives. Oh, and when I say us, it's just out of solidarity with you, speedfuckers. It's not like I suffer from that condition and it rendered my sex life miserable. Nah, I'm totally fine. Needless to say, this won't be an educational video. I may share a tip or two that worked for me, I mean, uh, for a friend. But, if you want to know more about the psychological and biological factors and all the treatments for this condition, just go Google it! Why should I do it for you? I don't have that problem. How many times do I have to say it? Jesus, man! Now, if you're premature, worry not, my friend. For there is hope. Or so I've heard, because why would I know anything about it? I don't have that problem. And why do I need to keep justifying myself like this? Anyway, some of you might have lost hope and convinced yourselves that there is nothing you can do about it. So you might as well learn how to live with it. You develop numerous strategies to adapt to your condition. For instance, whenever you come too quickly, you compliment them and act surprised so as to get away with it. You know, like, damn, girl. This never happened to me. You're so tight. Mm -mm -mm. But that only works with one night stands. When it comes to relationships, you might have opted for the same strategy as advocated for by the wise Dave Chappelle. I don't even believe in that. I don't. If I come, man, it was right on time. That's what I said. As far as I'm concerned, I can't come fast enough. <laughs> David, how could you? How could you come? I was fucking. <laughs> well, what are you trying to do, huh? <laughs> come? Well, I beat you. But if you do that, you shouldn't be surprised if she ends up with another player who lets her win occasionally. In my opinion, None of these strategies above are worthwhile. They only help you avoid the main issue. It's only by confronting the problem that you'll be able to overcome it. There are a lot of ways with which you can last longer in bed. You can wear a condom, rub one out a couple of hours prior to sex, and when you're about to come, try thinking about your parents. Unless that makes you even more excited. Not judging, we all have our little secrets. Sometimes, the problem will go away on its own. You just have to give time to your ding-dong to get used to the cock socket. If none of it works, there is one way that can show instantaneous improvements, but it comes with risks if done improperly. This technique is called ejaculation, which basically consists of releasing semen inside your body through your bladder instead of normal ejaculation. I know this sounds gay, but it might be the only thing that can save your sex life. It allows you to experience orgasm without ejaculation, and also maintain the erection even after the organ. So in practice, you can keep going as much as you like and climax multiple times without any rest in between. Provided you have the stamina for it, of course. I'm not going to go into the details of how you can perform ejaculation. You can look it up for yourselves. I'll just say that there are two ways of doing it. The lazy one, that can work right away if done properly, which consists of putting pressure as you're about to orgasm on a specific spot between your balls and your asshole called the perineum. Quick tip for this, don't reach from the back. You'll look ridiculous and she will think you're putting a finger up your butthole. Second method. It consists of contracting your pelvic floor muscles during the orgasm instead of pressing on the perineum, as mentioned in the first method. The pelvis floor muscles are the muscles you contract to stop peeing. This second method requires you to strengthen your pelvis muscles through Kegel exercises so that you can hold the sperm while having the orgasm. Before I end this video, 
I have to say, the best way to deal with premature ejaculation is to go and see a professional. I mean, a doctor, not a prostitute, okay? But I understand that in some situations, this is simply not an option. Especially in a conservative society in which you're not supposed to have sex before marriage. So if you can't go to the doctor, do your own research and decide for yourself what solution is best for you. This should do it for the subject of premature ejaculation. But it seems as though we're missing some steps. After all, you have to first succeed in luring women into your bed before you can worry about being premature. So what's the best strategy to seduce women? If you'd like to hear my opinion on this, tell me in the comment section, and I shall make it the subject of my next video. Until then, take care, speedfuckers. May you find your own perineum successfully.